cedar rat. You're a cedar rat. That's what they. That's what they're known as. Cedar rats. <laughs> Chick rats. Cedar rats. Oh, it's all the same term. And the process of what you're bolt doing? Bolt cutter. A bolt cutter. So you're a cedar rat that is involved in bolt cutting. Cutting shingle bolts and shake bolts. Yes. Quilcine used to have, I think, two shingle mills. Wow. Every town around here had shingle mills. It was as big an industry as logging almost. Well, this part was all done by hand. It was. Yeah. Wow. And do you enjoy doing this work? Yeah, yeah. It's all I'm qualified for. <laughs> See, it's, lack of education is just a shame. <laughs> Other people got where they are today by using their brains. I couldn't do that. By the time that you're done with the entire process of salvaging and also paying the landowner and so on, how much do you think that you estimate that you will make from all of this? Enough, barely. Really? Yeah. Do, do you think you'll come out ahead? Oh yeah. You will. Cool. Yeah, because you you know you come in, if you're if you're cutting, it's like anything else. If you're cutting good wood, you're gonna you can make money. If you're cutting marginal wood, then there's you know, and if you're cutting poor wood, there's no money there. You're just doing it for love. <laughs> Splitting off a bullet with a fro. This is a fro. Uh huh. Ancient instrument. This is very caveman looking. This is a very primitive game. What What is that piece of wood that you've got in your hand? This? Yeah. It's a mall. That's a mall? Yep, homemade. A homemade mall. What did you make it out of? Vine maple. Vine maple? Vine maple. And that's pretty hard wood, I'm going to gather. It's usually hard wood. Uh -huh. yep. See, it doesn't come apart. It hasn't been split. Uh -huh. It lasts a long time. Wow, and you've been really whacking on that thing. And all it does is just a little bit of a dent on the outside. Right. Very cool. And shingles are all vertical grain. Uh -huh. And why is that? Because then they won't work and cut. Is that so split. the rain runs off down there? No, it's just that they won't. They won't cut and warp and split and, and screw up. Uh -huh. They're just same thing with shanks. And do, and do people use the fro They're to called, split? It's called quarter saw them. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can you can split. I can set that down there. Like that. Take that sucker. And you can make these longer, and you can actually put them on the roof of your house, just like that. And just start nailing them up there. Wow, that's simple. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. This is a huge stump. How, how do you go about strategically taking this thing apart? And living through it. Yeah. <laughs> Not and living nasty. to talk about it. Yeah, actually, here. Yeah. Get back. Okay. He's very heavy. Very heavy. What do you call this, Jerry, what you're doing? Taking it apart. Taking it apart. That's all that I've ever called it. And that's just a wedge? 
Yeah. I've already made a saw cut. How deep is the saw cut? Way deep. Way deep. As deep as you can go. It's 32 inches in there. Uh huh. And then you just used a wedge to kind of pop that piece off. Huh? You've measured in to where you did your saw cut, I assume, or, or just estimate? Yeah, well, you just you estimate it, so you cut them. Because the grain is so funky, it's hard to tell what's flat and what's just where it's way the grain's running. So you just cut them long and then trim them up. Hmm. And trim them. What do you use to measure? A tape measure. That's a novel idea. Right there. I always assumed wedges were all metal. No. Hmm? Nice thing about plastic ones is little pieces don't fly off and get in your eyes. Oh, really? And the metal ones do? Metal, the old aluminum ones, yeah. They chip. Even the steel, yeah. Hmm? They'll ding after a while. Well, these are actually falling wedges as opposed to splitting wedges. Mm -hmm. They're narrower. See that come apart? So you're assessing now what part of it's usable or what direction you're going to go? Where to, where to split it. Mm -hmm. Where to split it. And is that hard to decide sometimes? Sometimes it's hard. Nah, it's not terrible, but see, it's, it's got a crack right there, so that piece is no good. Right here? Right there. There's a crack. Oh, I see. That's probably been there a long, long, long time. It's a stress fracture. That piece is no good. What will you do with the part that you think is not usable for shingles? It just goes in that pile. Mm -hmm. And do you think you'll use it for anything? Anybody can have it if they want it for kindling or firewood. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a pain to pack it out of a place like this, but you know, it's still all cedar. Mm -hmm. You know, you went on a carbon block or anything, you know, you know but there's no, there's no use for it. I don't know, it's probably been laying here a hundred years, anyway. Wow. But as far as age, 500, 600, maybe more. Amazing. And I know this is a private piece of property. Are there other ones like this on this property? There's a couple, yeah. Wow. A couple. More. So There's do you think that you'll be able to um, salvage most of what's usable on here for shingles? Yeah. Or will there be something left when you're done? There, well, there'll still be a root wide because I won't be able to go much farther than where that cut there. Mm -hmm. I might be able get. I might could get one more cut. Now I'll be done. And that'll be it. The bark seams. You get the harder you get down in there, the more and more rot you get. The more of these bark seams you get, you get like that, and that's a that's a bug hole. That's where the bug's been at it. So this. Am I getting it? Yeah. That's a bark seam. And what what causes this that? Is, this is the bark seam. Okay. And see, it's where the tree folded and the bark was in there and in there and then the tree got bigger and bigger and bigger and then it just... And you can't use that? Yeah. Got bark in there. Hmm. How many hours have you been out here? Not here. I started on the newspaper. <laughs> and then I worked in my shop and I put a coat, coat of finish on some furniture and then I come out here. Mm -hmm. Because I was gonna, my saws were down here. I had to come get a saw. How um, how many days more do you think you have before you're done here? A lot, because I'm not gonna do it full time. Mm -hmm. A lot. Oh, right, I'll be here for another week or two. When you first come up to a stump like this, how do you know if it's good wood? You can pretty much just look at it and tell if it's cedar. They're, because they don't, they don't rot. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can't tell, like the dry, pots of, pockets of dry rot and stuff, that this is dry rot, that is, that's dry rot. But you can't tell that until you, you have to just, you have to cut a slice off, or cut it, if it's a whole log, 
you kind of piece out and just, you know, mm -hmm. inspection piece. And just take a look at it. Just take a look at it. See what it looks like. Do you, get a, do you get a lot of variation, one. Jerry, if you come out and look at different trees? Do you, are this some of them very tiny? The front of it off. Mm -hmm. This one here, this piece right here. Show her. Wow. That was the front of it. Wow. And I just cut back in there far enough so that I knew I was going to be back into good wood. You know. But you can walk up to the front of it and hit it with an axe, and if it sounds good, it's good. And do you see a lot of variation, like in the tightness of the um, grain in a lot of these trees, or are they all pretty similar? They're all pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Once they get big sized, then, then the grain is all, well, you can see, like, every one of those lines is a year. It takes 30 years to grow an inch. Wow. So this is a fairly tight, tight yeah. uh, ring. Mm -hmm. And when you take this in to a place to sell shingles, um, do they look at those rings? I mean, do they give uh, you more money because it's tighter? No. No. Well, they run in different grades, but... Mm -hmm. If it's if it's second growth, new growth, then you don't get as much. Mm -hmm. But these are all run number one. So these are old growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OG, old OG. growth. And what do you think will happen to the shingles that are produced from this wood? Well, you put them on your house. Uh -huh. probably, and they probably go for siding. They don't use much shingle roofs anymore. Uh -huh. They still use lots and lots of shingle siding. So it's prime single uh, shingle siding. Yep, yeah, number one. Oh. And Giant business. Oh, tell us about that. I mean, there's no old growth growing anymore. Yeah. You know, the only it's, it's just uh, nobody lets it grow, so it's not going to have it. Mm -hmm. The only thing, you know, it's just trees like this that are that were left that have already been dead. Yeah. That's all it's left. Of course, there's quite a few of them. There used to be a lot more. So, do we have um, salvage operations like on U.S. Forest Service places? Um, I mean, are is this the state, uh -huh, the state has salvage operations mm -hmm. and Forest Service when but Forest Service hasn't cut any trees in so long. That what about blowdowns? Are they are are there sources? I mean, this is a private land uh, owner here, but. Are there other entities that have trees that are down and just rotting? Oh yeah. That 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 allow access yeah, for salvage. Timber companies like Pope and Talbot, mm -hmm. or Pope Resources now, and uh, you know Rainier, ITT Rainier. And they identify some the location of some of their old yeah. growth stumps. And Maryland Ring and Green Crow and Simpson and Mankey, they all, you know, it's it's valuable as wood, right. and if it's valuable as wood, it's worth getting out. Mm -hmm. yeah, somebody wants to pay for it. So, is there still a source then? Do you think over over the next fifty years for this no. kind of work? No, because it simply isn't there. Or people or the wood doesn't wood is it's becoming becoming rare and rare and rare to find it, mm -hmm. and it's not it's not a, a renewable resource. Yeah, it's a resource that just when it when it's gone, it's just all gone. Mm -hmm.